Can I eat 30 eggs in one sitting? I don't know, but let's find out. Why would I even try to eat 30 eggs in one sitting? I don't know if I even know exactly why I would try, but the idea hit me and I thought it would be fun to see if I could do it. One of the benefits of a carnivore diet is the food that we eat is extremely satiating. It's high fat, it's high protein, and it's very difficult to force yourself to overeat. Not to say that some people probably can't still. I know for me, it's extremely hard to eat more than my body really needs because even if I do it one day, the very next day I'm so full, there's no way that I can eat nearly as much the next day. It's very, very difficult to eat more than you really need. I don't know how many eggs my body needs, but I thought it would be interesting to find out and I buy my eggs in these packs of 30 because I go through so many eggs, like $2.59 for 30 eggs. It's one of nature's most perfect foods, and as long as you're not sensitive to them, they are fantastic on a carnivore diet. So let's see if we can make 30 eggs, and if I can actually sit and eat 30 eggs. Sometimes I feel like I can, and I know Dr. Barry has put that challenge out there before saying beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, if you can gain weight by overeating on it, that he would give you money. I'm not gonna take that bet because there's no way I'd be able to do it but it does make me wonder. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how I did. We're gonna figure out if I can eat them all, how many did I not eat? And I've got a couple of really cool announcements for you guys as well. So stick around, let's make some scrambled eggs and let's see if we can eat them all. All right, 30 eggs in the bowl. Now we're gonna season it. I'm gonna keep it real simple because I got a lot of eggs to eat. So I'm gonna do salt and a little bit of black pepper. All right, y'all, that is 1,455 grams of eggs. So I'm gonna put the breakdown on the screen of exactly how many grams per egg. I'm gonna eat as many of them as I can. And when we are done, if there are any left over, I'm gonna weigh them and I'm gonna figure out exactly how many eggs I did not eat. This is three pounds, 3.3 ounces of cooked scrambled eggs. Can I do it? I don't know, but we're going to find out. But in the meantime, I also wanted to tell you guys a couple of cool things. If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris. I've lost 113 pounds and counting by eating things like this on a carnivore diet. I started doing this as a way to communicate with all the people in the keto and carnivore community and to keep myself accountable. I blew up on YouTube. Here I am. The channel has hit over a million views, all because of you watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of the things. Subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're interested in supporting what I do, I have a Patreon group, and I also have YouTube membership. Those people, my supporters, my family here on YouTube and in Patreon, those guys are the band. All of this is made possible by their contribution and the fact that they support what I do and that we work together as a community. So thank you so much to the band. You guys rock. It is the reason I get to do what I do. 
Because I hit a million views, I am going to do a giveaway for Keto Chow's electrolytes for my 1 million views. I talked to them about this because I work with Keto Chow. They asked me to partner with them and I love their products. I've been using their electrolytes for a long time. Time. Be watching for that video because I'm going to put that video out. I'm going to give you instructions in that video how you can win. But in that video, I'm going to give away some Chris Cooking Nashville merch and Keto Chow is actually going to send you a sample pack of a bunch of their different electrolyte products. I'm going to tell you what you have to do in that next video about my 1 million views. So make sure you're subscribed. Watch for that video to come out. Guys, let's sit down. Let's see if we can eat three plus pounds of scrambled eggs. 30 eggs. It's a good thing I like eggs. Let's see what we can do. The good news is they taste good. It just gets to a point it just doesn't really taste good anymore. I can't even get close to doing it. A whole bunch left. I'm not gonna eat all 30 eggs, there's no way. I'm gonna weigh them here in a second and I'll tell you how many I did eat. But this serves to prove a few points. First of all, real food, nutritious, high protein, high fat food animal-based nutrients is so satiating. You can't eat as much as you think you can. There's just no way, which is why a lot of my recipes, even if they don't look like it's that much, they're very difficult to overeat. They're so high in protein. Maybe you could overeat them and maybe if you did it every day, it would be a problem. But for us, you know, I only do recipes once a week maybe. It was just You just can't eat that much, which is why I've consistently been losing weight even though we make the recipes and you know, I have maybe more dairy than some people can handle and you know, things like that. That's the first thing, carnivore is very satiating. The next thing, eggs are a fantastic source of food when you are on a carnivore diet. As long as you're not sensitive to them, and even if you are, it may just be the whites, so you can try the yolks too. I've also heard sometimes duck eggs or other kinds of eggs are not as much of a problem for people as maybe chicken eggs. If you can tolerate eggs, these are a fantastic cheap protein source. I mean, that whole thing that I made, I could eat this for three meals for $2.59. Eggs are a fantastic source of protein and fat for someone on a carnivore diet. You saw in the video different nutrients that are in eggs that make them so good for you. The third thing that this really means to me has to do with how far that I've come. My wife will tell you, this size bowl right here, I used to fill it up with cereal and milk, and I used to eat this size of a bowl of cereal. An hour later, I could eat more. I could eat dessert, mashed potatoes, pasta. I mean, I could eat huge bowls of food and I would binge on the food that I ate. On carnivore, I can't do it. And not only can I not do it, I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm literally feeling like I ate maybe a little more than a third of these eggs. I'm guessing just by looking at it, maybe half. We'll weigh and we'll find out here in a second, but I can't begin to binge on eggs the way that I was able to binge on something like pasta or cereal or cookies or mashed potatoes or french fries or fast food or any of the other things that I used to do to myself. Guys, when you start to eat something like this, a carnivore diet, even a keto diet, and you are truly satiated by all of the fat and the protein of the animal products that you're eating, you can't binge. Your hormones are going to right themselves and your satiety is going to kick in and your brain is going to say stop. My brain, about three bites before I stopped, started putting on the brakes real hard saying, whoa buddy, you need to stop. And now I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm really glad I stopped because if I'd continued taking more bites, I would just be sick. The eggs taste great, but there's a point along the way where suddenly they don't taste so good anymore. When you've been carnivore for a while, I'm like eight months in right now, and when you've been carnivore that long, and even if you do this on keto, your satiety hormones get fixed and you start to feel them 
and they kick in and they tell you to stop. You don't want anymore. And I understand now the difference between hunger and my mind telling me to use food like a drug. And it makes all of the difference for me. I encourage any of you, if you're considering trying the carnivore or keto diet, you need to try it because there are so many amazing things that happen. There's no way that I would have been able to eat this entire bowl of eggs, truthfully. I'm, I'm glad that I wasn't able to. I didn't think I probably would, but I thought I'd give it a try just to show you how far I could get. And I mean, you can see there's a bunch of eggs left in here. I go in the refrigerator, I will use them again. I'll either use them as an ingredient. We'll just eat them, we'll heat them up and eat them. These are not going to be wasted. I in no way endorse binge eating. You should not be binge eating. But my point is that as someone who used to be a binge eater and was pushing 400 pounds, I'm gonna put a picture on the screen. Guys, I was almost 400 pounds. And look at me. I can't even sit down and eat the same size bowl of eggs that used to be nothing. If it was cereal, pasta, rice, potatoes, any of those things that I used to eat in massive quantities. Anyone who knows me and was there when I was doing it can tell you, I used to eat stupid amounts of food and it was not healthy because I was addicted and I was struggling. Now, I'm good. I'm doing really, really good and that's all I can do. So let's weigh these up and let me tell you how many eggs I ended up eating. Seven hundred and eighty-five grams of eggs left. So how many eggs did I eat? Calculated it out, that means I ate just about 14 of those 30 eggs. I ate 14 eggs and I am stuffed. This is the power of carnivore and eating carnivore foods. And even if you're doing meat heavy keto, ketovore, you're gonna get the same benefit. You find your place on that low carb spectrum, you make sure you're getting plenty of animal proteins and animal fats, and your body is going to fix itself and it is going to tell you when to stop eating. I'm not a doctor and I don't give any medical advice, but if it was my money and if it was my life and I was the one waging the bet, I'd find my place on that proper human diet spectrum. I'd learn everything I could about low carb, keto, ketovore, carnivore, wherever I settled. I would enjoy my life to the fullest knowing that I could sit down and try to eat as many eggs as I possibly could or as much of anything that you like, beef, chicken, any kind of proper human diet protein, animal protein that's high in fat like that. I would be able to sit down and eat any of that and know that my body and my brain will tell me when to stop because it is finally functioning properly. That's what this whole video is about. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you were maybe a little on the edge of your seat as to whether the big guy could eat 30 eggs. There may have been a time in my life that I would have kept going and I would have made myself sick. Not anymore. That's the power of what the proper human diet does and that's why I look like this instead of this. I have a long way to go. I'm still doing what I got to do. I'm taking care of myself. I'm losing weight and I'm healing, taking care of my health. And I encourage every one of you guys to do the same. If there's other food challenges you would like to see or other things that you think would be cool if I would film, feel free to put that in the comments below. Also, how many eggs do you think you can eat? Put down below how many eggs you think it would take for you to get as full as I am, which is absolutely stuffed to the gills. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love every single one of you. All of my links are down below in the description box as usual. This is Chris Cook in Nashville. Eat your meat and your scrambled eggs. Maybe not 30 of them. Love your life. I'm gonna see you guys here in the kitchen for the next recipe or maybe the next challenge video. Are you helping dad make a video? She's not being helpful. No? No. Are you gonna share your eggs with her? Absolutely not. No. Oh, sorry. Dad, Dad said no. What? What's that? Is it a camera?